This was a requested tutorial. I'll be using a low poly base model that I downloaded from Sketchfab as a reference. The link is in the description. I'll begin by making the tunic. I add a plane and rotate it around the X axis by 90 degrees. In edit mode, I move the plane in front of the human. And I scale it along the Z axis so it's just above his shoulders and stops just below his knees. I also scale it along the x-axis until it's almost at the elbows. I add a vertical loop cut in the center and delete one half of the plane. I then add a mirror modifier, making sure to activate clipping so the center vertices won't rip apart. In object mode, I use Control A and apply all the transforms. In edit mode, I right click on the plane and subdivide it using 36 cuts. In wireframe mode, I select the outer faces that I'll be deleting to form the tunic. I can then delete the selected faces. I then select the entire plane and extrude it back along the Y axis. I select the top faces that surround the neck area and delete the faces. I select the end faces that make up the sleeves and delete them. I also delete the very bottom faces. I can now select the remaining faces and delete only the faces. Under the Physics tab, I add a cloth physics to the plane. I select the cotton preset, and I change the quality steps to 10. Under the Shape panel, I activate Sewing, increasing the max sewing factor to 15 and the shrinking factor to 0.1. Under Collisions, I increase the quality to 10. For Object Collisions, I set the distance to 0.01. I also activate Self Collision and change the distance to 0.01. In Object Mode, I select the Human and add a Collision. I change the dampening to 0.01 and the friction to 15. I also disable single sided and activate override normals. I apply the mirror modifier. I then use the timeline to sew the tunic. 
Stop in the animation when the sewing is complete. I then apply the cloth modifier. In edit mode, I delete one half of the faces and add a mirror modifier with clipping enabled. I merge any vertices as needed to close the gaps and move the geometry as needed to make the tunic appear more realistic. I right click on the tunic and choose Shade Auto Smooth. I also add a subdivision surface modifier by using Control 4. I add a solidify modifier with an even thickness. I'll now add a cloak to the model. I add a plane and rotate it around the x-axis by 90 degrees. In edit mode, I move the plane behind the human. I scale it along the z-axis so it is just above his shoulders and about mid-calf. In object mode, I use Control A and apply all the transforms. In edit mode, I right click on the plane and subdivide it using 24 cuts. I select the top five vertices on each side of the cloak and extrude them along the Y axis until they're about mid shoulder. I then select the extruded faces and subdivide them. I select the first two rows of vertices and under the Object Data Properties tab, I assign a vertex group to the selected vertices. Under the Physics tab, I add a Cloth modifier, and under the Shape panel, I add the Vertex group to the Pin group. I select the Cotton preset and change the Quality steps to 10. Under Collision, I increase the quality to 10. For Object Collisions, I set the distance to 0.01. I also activate Self Collision and change the distance to 0.01. In Object Mode, I select the Tunic and add a Collision. I change the Damping to 0.01 and the Friction to 15. I also disable single-sided and activate override normals. I then use the timeline to form the cloak, stopping the animation when the cloth physics is complete. I then apply the cloth modifier. I right click on the tunic and choose Shade Auto Smooth. I add a Solidify modifier.
and I then move the cloak into position. In edit mode, I change the pivot point to individual origins. I select the faces where the cloak meets the tunic and scale them along the x-axis. I add a circle to the area where the cloak and tunic would meet. In edit mode, I rotate and scale the fibula to match the shoulder. I'll then inset and use a bevel to stylize the fibula. In object mode, I shade the fibula smooth and set its origin to the 3D cursor. I then add a mirror modifier and apply it. I can then make any necessary adjustments. I'll add some very simple color for the materials. I use a slightly off-white for the main color. And I also use blue for some trim. For the fibula, I'll also use a gold metallic color. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and turn on notifications. If you want to request a tutorial, please leave a comment below. Have a good day.